On behalf of the Guam Youth Congress, Senator Amanda Shelton proposed Bill 161-36, which would require all teachers employed at Guam charter schools to be certified by the Guam Commission on Educator Certification. The original charter school law allows them the freedom for the regulations that govern traditional public schools currently. That means in order for a charter school to open or a petition to be approved, they have to establish a program at the charter school that wasn't currently being done at a district public school at the time. It was originally authored by former Speaker Senator Judith Wanpat, who is presently the Chief Executive Officer of Guahan Academy Charter School. She said that she intentionally wrote the law to not require certification because it's cost prohibitive. And this kind of concerns me because even if it's going to be the certification officer or is it going to be the council is going to be doing this, all they'll be looking for would be the paper qualification. But they would not be able to go out and observe a teacher in the classroom to determine if they're excellent teachers or an effective teacher. Another concern she has is not having funds to pay certified teachers accordingly. And right now, DOE teachers are getting anywhere between 30 to 40 percent higher. Their salaries are much higher than uh, what we pay in the charter schools, what we, they pay in the private schools. Rachel Stake, the chief academic officer of Island Academy Charter School, said that it's not necessary to mandate the certification that is being required by teachers in the district public school system. She said that it should still be left up to the administrators of the charter schools to determine what kind of training and certifications for their teachers teaching at the charter schools. Especially if the program is effective, like especially if we are producing the student learner outcomes that are expected of us, like we are held accountable for what our charter school produces, right? And so if the trainings and the certifications that we're currently requiring for our teachers, such as Google education, um, because we are a tech school, um, if they are able to obtain certifications in the areas that we're currently requiring for our program to be successful, then I think that that's great and that's where it should be. Um, but I don't think that it should be a certification mandated to us to fulfill, especially if it's an unfunded mandate as it is. Stake says the bill would affect their hiring authority. I look at credentials, so I look at their degrees, I look at their experience, but I also look at them as a whole. Are you passionate about teaching? Are you passionate about your students? Are you flexible? Do you think this is a program that you would be able to be trained in and to be able to implement in an effective way? Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusi Isaiah Ugin.